Hello and welcome to Dynamics Print webinar series number three. Today's topic is GAN charts and shop floor management and in today's demo I will be walking you through the, um, the visual board for manufacturing managers and show you some of the shop floor features as well. Some of the benefits you'll see during this demo is how Dynamics Print allows you to optimize resources. It also helps users to improve delivery time and then make real-time commitments to customers and internal teams. It also gives ability to users to modify schedules and improve planning performance. So what you're looking at your screen is the graphical view or the GAN chart, uh, um, graphical GAN chart view. Uh, think of it as a whiteboard that you have on your manufacturing plant where you can drag and drop jobs, move jobs around to gain better um, planning uh, efficiency. So the GAN chart is essentially divided into two panes. The top panes represent the blocks of time, uh, which are against the resources that we use for scheduling these jobs. And the bottom pane represents these blocks of time in lines as well. And there's a direct relationship between these blocks and these lines. So for example, if I have to look for uh, this job on the GAN chart, if I click on that, it'll actually blink and show me where the job is at. And vice versa, if I click on the job on the top pane, it'll show me the result at the bottom pane as well. Uh, in terms of how to view GAN chart, users can look at different period. They can look at a one day, a three day, a seven day, or a 14 day period. It just allows them to have a bigger view or a constricted view uh, for um, uh, their usability per se. Uh, we can also zoom in or zoom out uh, of the view if we want to. Again, more for uh, visualization than anything else. And one of the features that we have is be able to either soft schedule or block capacity on the GAN chart. So uh, if I want to, let's assume if one of the machines is going to be down next week for maintenance, I can essentially just go and block that time on the machine and then uh, state uh, why the machine is down. I'm either booking capacity or it's down for maintenance. So once we do that, then the, when the jobs are scheduled, the system makes sure they are not scheduled against these uh, blocked capacities. Other things we can do on the GAN chart is go directly into the work centers uh, from the GAN chart itself or go directly into the working times. So an example would be, again, uh, if you want to add capacity or delete capacity um, in the future, we can actually click on the working times calendar uh, and then either close the period for that day or add additional capacity uh, just because there's more work um, and so on and so forth. Um, other features uh, which, which uh, some of our customers are really using um, are the filter functioning. So if I click on filter, uh, it lists all the jobs uh, that they are in the system. Let me just look at a better example here. If I filter on a, on a machine, it'll give me all the jobs that are on that particular machine uh, and all the details about the job. For example, the page type, if it's cover or inside pages such as text, the run quantity, the number of colors, and so on and so forth. So what I want to do is I want to look at all the jobs that are running on a glaze print uh, paper. And I want to look at page types that are of type cover only. So there are three jobs over here which I can use uh, to gang them together or if not gang to uh, batch produce use them back to back. Um, what this does is it allows users to gain make ready efficiency. So we can do one make ready and then do print these three jobs back to back on that machine uh, adding value and efficiency to the process. And how we do it is once we've um, looked at jobs which we can uh, run batch back to back. Uh, I can actually click on those jobs together and click and say snap bars. So you'll see when I snap bar all these three jobs were combined together in order of selection that I made. Uh, again very uh, easy functionality to be able to schedule these jobs and gain some make ready efficiency and the result would also be apparent on the lines below. If I want, I can also drag and drop. For example, if I want to 
drop this job on another machine I can drag and drop them as well and you will see where I'm dragging and dropping all the other related processes are moving as well the prepress is moving as well and other related processes would move as well and if uh, the drag and drop uh, if there's a a conflict with the delivery time or with the capacity the system will give me warnings uh, to be to make sure that I'm not doing something uh, which will uh, affect the delivery final delivery to the customer um, we can also look at other things in Gantt chart for example I can look at the order progress and see where the job is at the um, at the uh, shop floor side and this is tightly integrated with shop floor management with real-time feed coming from shop floor feeds into the Gantt chart so I can see that one of the operations CTP is completed whereas the printing is, is scheduled and yet to be uh, conducted and I can also see the status coming uh, real time back from the uh, shop floor system as well. The other thing that I want to show you today is the shop floor management. The shop floor management module uh, is where we record time and material against uh, the scheduled jobs. And basically, uh, what it does is when the shop floor employees walk onto their machines and terminals in the morning, they'll see a list of all the jobs that there are to be finished for that day. Uh, so here are a couple of orders that I already have uh, to be uh, produced uh, on that machine. Um, I'm going to look for an order that I've already scheduled. And I'm going to then go and record time and material. Uh, please be advised what I'm showing you is a manual process but with that said dynamic screen print can be interfaced with direct machines uh, interfaces uh, or uh, even via JDF to send real-time feed back from the machine counters uh, to the um, to the system as well so with that said let's just look at this job which has a cover line and two text lines I'm going to go into the uh, sales order or into this line to produce the cover and again I'm right now a shop floor employee trying to produce this job so there's some make ready on the machine there's some production time I'm gonna say that um, uh, I'm gonna start the job again this is a manual process um, and assuming it's taken me close to four hours it's actually telling me the calculated time is four hours and uh, roughly about four and a half hours so I've started the job and I'm going to now assume that the job is done and I'm gonna do some material registration so when I click on material registration it's telling me that the estimated quantity for this paper is about 340 sheets I'm going to add uh, 10 additional sheets and create a line for the uh, for the consumption of the uh, paper or uh, material as well so this is how manually somebody would enter um, time and uh, of course material for the job as well I can go back to the time registration and stop the job and when I stop the job the clock stops ticking so I can either from here automatically pop up a window to record uh, the uh, the status or I can also do it manually by saying set status and uh, put in my feedback again this could be that the job is printing is finished or there might be some problem with the job and I can put the job on hold but for now let's say the print is finished uh, and the quality is good and I will record the time and material so this was a very quick introduction on uh, the shop floor management side and again uh, like uh, mentioned before the demo that this is a manual process and it can be uh, integrated uh, with DMIs uh, as well so some of the benefits that you saw during this demo was how did we optimize resources um, and then how do we improve delivery time uh, trying to move the jobs juggle jobs in Gantt chart and then finally um, how will somebody make real-time commitments to customers looking at different processes and operations in the Gantt chart and then be able to modify the schedules and improve improve the planning performance thank you once again I hope you enjoyed the session